This presentation in the Database Fundamentals series looks at logical and physical models. This presentation assumes that you have seen previous presentations and are familiar with the data model terminology. A data model can be documentation for how an existing database is constructed and it can also be used as a tool for designing new databases. Depending on the level of abstraction, we may classify a data model as logical or physical. A logical data model is a general depiction of the data with entities and relationships. A physical data model shows more detail and it depicts how the database will be built. It has much more detail in it. So in the example that we see here for the auto repair shop, the, the model that you see in the top right corner is a logical model. It shows the entities and their relationships, but nothing else. Now it might show attributes, but it might not necessarily show all attributes, and it wouldn't have to contain additional information that you see in the physical model. The physical model, as we see here, is one that was created in Microsoft Visio, and it has more detail. It shows the attributes for each one of the entities. It also shows the relationships, but then there are other symbols like PK and FK1 that tell us something else about how the database is constructed. And so the meanings for those symbols and also why some of these uh, attributes are in bold and not others aren't, those, uh, those meanings will be covered in other presentations. When we go from the uh, physical model to the relational database, we start using different terminology. So instead of saying entity, an entity becomes a table because in the actual database we're going to build a table for that entity. An attribute becomes a column or a field. An entity instance, that one occurrence of, a, of an entity, becomes a row in a table it, or also you can say it's a record in the table. The relationship, the relationship, the line that you see in the data model becomes a column that is in each table at both ends of the relationship. So in the example that we have here of customer and repair order entities in the data model, customer will become, a, as an entity, will become customers as a table in the database. It's not necessary, but it is uh, often done that you make the table the plural of the entity. So customer entity, customers table. Repair order would become repair orders as a table in the actual database. It's one of the principles of relational databases that each row in a table is unique. That means the combination of values for the attributes or the values in that row in the columns will be unique for each row. And that brings into play uh, the term primary key, a field or combination of fields that uniquely identifies one row in a table. So we see often in attributes like first name and last name that the value, the name, can be the same for many rows, but the entire row itself has to be uniquely identified for that particular record, that particular row, and the primary key provides that uh, uniqueness. So if you remember in the data model we call that unique attribute the identifier and so the identifier in the model becomes the primary key in the database. So as I would already mentioned there will be a lot of attributes for which the values are not unique but we have to have at least one field that uniquely identifies every row in that table uniquely identifies every instance for that entity. In this example here for customer, we have created a column called
called cust ID and we generate or assign values to that that are unique so that each customer has each customer has a unique customer ID. So this presentation has presented the idea of logical and physical data models and also presented the terms that uh, we refer to when we're working in the database versus when we have the data model.